He was murdered on Sunday tonight, remembering Joshua Hartwick. He was a Special Olympics athlete and a friend to many. Channel 8's Laura Wilson has the exclusive interview. Laura. Vanessa, I sat down with friends and family this week who told me all kinds of amazing stories about Josh. They say he was the ultimate sports fan, a talented athlete, and the kind of person who always put others before himself. It's a scenario Chris Brinker never could have imagined. Her son's life cut short at the hand of a complete stranger. Of all of the people that you would expect to die a violent death, he wasn't even on that spectrum. On Sunday, Brinker learned her son, 25-year-old Joshua Hartwig, had been fatally wounded in a drive-by shooting outside his apartment complex near 18th and Cornhusker. The accused shooter is now in custody. Josh was developmentally delayed. He wasn't 25. I mean, he just didn't operate at that level. And so it was, that's, that makes this even more difficult. A sentiment shared by Joshua's Special Olympics teammates. He was a good kid. That's, I don't know how to put it. He was a good guy. Joshua's love of sports fueled his passion for life. You couldn't have a conversation with Joshua without talking about sports, whether it was Special Olympics or Nebraska football or um, Nebraska baseball. Branker's son had developed friendships with a number of Husker players, many of them writing tributes on his Facebook page this week. And Joshua was an award-winning athlete in his own respect, having played basketball and football for Special Olympics. We decided to retire his number 18 jersey in honor of him. I mean, he's right here right now. He's my brother, man. For life. A life short-lived, but with a long-lasting legacy, which his mother Chris says will be carried on by the place most sacred to Joshua. The creed on the wall of the Memorial Stadium. It's not about winning. It's not about losing. It's about, it's about the game. It's about doing the best you can and that's and that's Josh and I want people to keep that every day and Joshua's family has set up a burial fund at Liberty First Credit Union as well as a GoFundMe account in his name they have told me that all funds raised that exceed his funeral costs will be donated to a special Olympics team to help pay for travel costs we have all of that information on our website